I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. It's the beginning of summer, which means, if you haven't already, you're probably headed out to a festival of some kind where there are food trucks waiting for your business. Today on The Rough Draft Diaries, we're going to take a behind-the-scenes look at one of those local food trucks. But we begin in a place that has nothing to do with food trucks. Yeah, so uh, I worked 13 years at, uh, you know, for the industry, the oil industry. So I was, you know, worked many jobs in those 13 years, but my last one was uh, in marketing. I was an analyst and a good experience. Um, you know, it's one of the things that you feel like, you know, that you're, that's going to be your job for the rest of your life. But uh, obviously things happened and, uh, you know, new, new things come up. So I think life works itself out sometimes. John is being a little cryptic. That thing that happened was COVID. John lost his job in October of 2020, a situation that many of my own friends and family experienced here in Northwest Ohio. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things like, you know, you know, my, my wife and I were both a little concerned about our jobs just with everything happening. Then fortunately she kept hers and, you know, I lost mine. It's just, you know, you're kind of, you're stuck because like we're originally from the Northeastern Ohio. So we're like, what, what do we do? Do we, do we move back home? Do we be closer to family and friends during this time? You know, we really sat down, and, you know, there's some days where I go, wow, this, this is, this is tough, you know? But no, we, we sat down and talked about kind of like what we really want to do the next three to five years. And, you know, my wife, my wife, Maria was like super supportive. She's like, what do you really want to do? Cause I started interviewing for other jobs. Uh, and just like, I was like, this, this does not feel right. And then, uh, I really was like, okay, this is, I started doing a little research. Then she's like, just do it. She's like, we'll figure it out. And just you know, having that support and, you know, talking to some friends and family and, Again, just everyone's like, yeah, you've been talking about doing this for years. Just do it. So, um, yeah, it was it was awesome to uh, be surrounded by people that, you know, believe in your dreams. And what was that dream? Well, to own his own food truck. John owns Johnny Burritos, which is pretty self-explanatory, a food truck that sells burritos. But a dream that has been stuck in the back of his mind for quite some time. Yeah, so my aunt uh, back home and my mom uh, used to uh, operate a shop. And it's funny thing is, like, when I was younger, I didn't know my aunt owned the shop. We just made it at home all the time. And we'd call, like, hey, my aunt, my aunt Sue, like, we'd, you know, make her sauce all the time. Uh, so, yeah, we started, like, just I started cooking it for friends in college. Then make it for friends, you know, just we have them over just for, like, little dinner parties. Some friends and I were, like, just kind of thinking of something to do sort of the community to, you know, we were sitting around, there's about 10 of us, and like, yeah, we'd like to do something for the community. So, you know, going from corporate to uh, owning a food truck was a, a very different change of pace, but uh, no, it's been exciting. For John to give back to the community with his food truck, he needed to look to the local community to get started with the food truck, to learn how to operate and manage his own food business. Yeah, so one of the first things I actually like just kind of cold called a few food trucks that I've like visited. And so I like, I was like, you know what, let's just reach out to someone who's done it and see if they're open to letting me pick their brain. And, you know, fortunately, you know, a few of them uh, got back to me and had some really good conversations. They kind of gave me some guidance on like what to expect, you know, when you talk to people who have done it before and they're generous with their time, it was really helpful to at least get the ball rolling in a, in a positive direction. Since starting his business, John has created a community of support, whether it's customers waiting in line for their burrito or fellow food truck owners who continue to support this growing trend of kitchens on wheels. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people like see you for that that moment when you're in the window serving food. Um, But, you know, behind the scenes, it's like the prep, the cleaning. uh, It's a lot of hard work. And, uh, you know, but then like there's also like a, a big community of food truck uh, operators that are super supportive of each other. Um, when if you have issues, you you can reach out to you know other guys, and they've probably experienced that before, or at least know who someone who has and, or who can help you. So that network has been uh, pretty remarkable. With the success of Johnny Burritos, John's advice to others is pretty straightforward. If you wait for the time and the opportunity to pursue your dreams, it might pass you by. Do it. Yeah, it's, it's obviously a little scary because it's kind of the, the unknown, but um, 
if you're passionate about something and you truly believe like you know this this is uh, the next step just fall that uh fall that uh, that gut feeling um you'll be amazed the the people who support you how uh, how much they do support you and even people that you don't know that are, will support you um you know, there's no way i could have done this by myself um but just having that encouragement and support has been uh, incredible and yeah i think truly like taking that risk it's 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 worth it so i'm haley taylor and thanks for listening to this episode of the rough draft diaries 